Fransman says his decision to return to Western Cape politics has been curtailed by infighting and factions in the ANC, and this made it impossible for him to execute his duties. He says he can no longer justify earning a salary without the means of delivering on his mandate. But the DA believes his resignation is linked to his refusal to answer questions about his department's excessive expenditure while he was an MEC. Yesterday, the High Court dismissed his application, which sought to prevent him from facing SCOPA. The Auditor General's report found that more than 9 billion rand was spent on consultants by the Department of Transport and Public Works, which was under Fransman's leadership, as well as the Department of Health. I don't know what he's going to do in, the, in his career for the future, but um, the, the, both the con national constitution, the provincial constitution and the Cape Witness Act is absolutely clear on this matter. Any person, irrespective, may be summoned in front of a committee of parliament to answer questions relating to uh, any investigation. And in this particular case, it's an ongoing investigation in front of the Public Accounts Committee, and we will get answers from Mr. Fransman in due course. The former SCOPA chairperson agrees that Fransman will have no choice but to answer the questions. As I understand it, he now needs to appear, he would need to appear in front of SCOPA should SCOPA uh, choose to pursue the matter further. Uh, in the meantime, this is another two years later that the, that the report still hasn't been dealt with as far as I understand it. So SCOPA may or may not decide that they're going to pursue the matter. He will be actually issuing out a statement in that effect in due course. But also, um, our chief whip, uh, Pierre Ace, is currently dealing with the matter at the provincial exchange. The reason they are much personal, he actually wants to focus on the internal, on the internal matters of, on the, of the Afghanistan Congress. Fransman was not available to speak to the SABC, but in his statement he said he would continue to serve the ANC as the elected provincial chairperson of the Western Cape. He still faces disciplinary action in connection with allegations of sexual harassment levelled against him. Vanessa Puna, SABC News, Cape Town.